Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, June 5th, 2010. This week, Swatch Watch 2, How to Create a Custom Color Swatch. One of the things I like most about Photoshop and Elements is the ability to customize the workspace and personalize my projects. Last week, we started our series of Swatch Watch tips by selecting custom foreground and background colors. This week, we'll continue exploring how to personalize the swatch panel with your own color swatches. Using the technique from last week's tip, choose a foreground color from an open image. There are three ways to add your selected color to the color swatches panel. Method one is to click on a blank area here in the color swatches panel and give your color a name. I'll call this one Swatch Watch Yellow and click OK. To add a swatch without having to give it a name, first get a custom color from your photo and then hold down the Alt key or on a Mac system the Option key and click here on the swatch panel in a blank area. This allows you to add the swatch to your panel without naming it. For the third method, let's get a new color. I'll pick up this black here from the watch hand and then click the Create a New Swatch icon here at the bottom of the Color Swatches panel. Like method two, this adds your swatch to the bottom of the panel without having to give it a new name. Using these methods, add your foreground color to the Swatches panel. The colors will live there even after you close the software and reopen it. In the full version of Photoshop and some of the earlier versions of Elements, you can save your swatches as a set by clicking this icon here at the top of the Swatches panel. Enter the Preset Manager here, select the colors that you want to save, and save them as a set. Step-by-step -step instructions for saving and loading a color swatch set can be found in Cassie Jones's tutorial, Laying It All Out Number 7, Coloring Inside the Lines. Be sure to check back next week for another tip on customizing your color swatches. I always enjoy hearing from you. Is there a technique that has you stumped? Email me at howto at designerdigitals.com with your idea and I may be able to help you with a video tip too.